Hey everybody, welcome to Legends of 40k, the video series where I look at one special character per video, giving you uh, his full entry, point cost, war gear, special rules, etc, etc. Um, my opinion about the model and the entry, what may need to be outdated, just, just as my opinion goes for that. And then my thoughts on how to use the said special character. Now I'm not saying go out and use special characters. Um, I, I have, and I will be using special characters. I also use a lot of generic HQs. So <clears throat> I know that generic HQs work just fine. There's no real need to have a special character. But since they're out there and they're cool, I thought I would provide information on them and my opinions on them for anybody who may be considering them or think you know, to use or just think they're cool and whatnot and want info on it. So, we're back with the Dark Angels Codex because it's my favorite army, so we're going to be talking about it a lot. Um, we're looking at the Supreme Grand Master, Azrael. He's the Chapter Master. Now, before I talk about that, I want to say this Codex is essentially a 4th edition Codex written in a 5th edition style. Um, it came out when... Bef well, well, it came out before 5th edition, and it came out before um, the current Codex Space Marine edition is out. It, uh, the previous edition of Codex Space Marine, the one with, um, uh, what's his face? The one with um, Marnaeus and Terminator armor on the cover, surrounded by his honor guard, was the current Codex, um, the current edition for the Space Marines at the time. So they were using that codex, I am imagining, and I could assume, to, for uh, rules, war gear, stat lines, stuff like that, to use to make the Dark Angels Codex. In fact, the Dark, Angel, the Dark Angels Codex came out in 2006. I think, around that time. So, um, when you look at Azrael, for example, you'll see what I'm talking about. He does not have weapon skill 6, for example. So he's 225 points. Weapon skill 5, Blissed skill of 5, Strength 4, Toughness 4, 4 Wounds, Initiative 5, 4 Attacks, Leadership 10, 2 plus Save. He's infantry and, and individual, so he only can include one Supreme Grandmaster in an army. He has the war gear of Frag and Crack Grenades, Bolt Pistol, Protector, Lion Helm, Sword of Secrets, Lion's Wrath. He's got the special rule of Fearless, Independent Character, and Rights of Battle. And if Azrael is in the army, the standard bearer and one command squad, may replace his company standard with the Dark Angels chapter banner for 15 points. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's look at what all this stuff does. The chapter banner allows any Dark Angel unit within 12 inches of the banner to re-roll failed morale and pinning tests. In addition, all models um, in the standard bearer's unit add plus one to their attack characteristic, but pretty much they add one to their attack characteristic. Um, so if they were they have two attack base, we'd have three attack base in that squad. Uh, he has protector, which is artificer armor. So he has a two plus armor save because of it. He has lion's helm. The lion helm provides Azrael and all models in any unit he joins with a four plus invulnerability save, which is very nice. Now the lion's helm is carried by the helmet bearer, which is represented on the tabletop by a separate miniature that will always remain as close as possible to Azrael without getting in the way of all their miniatures. The helmet bearer takes no part in the game and is ignored or moved out of the way for the purposes of determining lines of sight, charging, etc. If Azrael is killed, the helmet bearer is also removed. This is the helmet bearer, in case you're wondering. Um, he's was referred to as a Watcher in the Dark in previous editions of the Codex. I, so I'm going to call him a Watcher in the Dark now, even though they don't explicitly, explicitly say it in that entry. I just wanted to read that whole entry to make it clear that that model is not used in any way, shape, or form for determining line of sight, distance, etc., etc. He just don't use him. He's just a cool-looking model, and that's it. He has no function in the game whatsoever. Um, Sword of Secrets is a massive crafted power weapon that also allows the wielder to strike at strength six in close combat. And Lion's Wrath is a massive crafted combi plasma gun. So. Before I go into how I would use Asriel, because I do plan to, um, let's go into what I think needs to be updated or whatnot. Now, as far as the model goes, there's not much you can do with this type of model. He's got two weapons that you know you, you, that they want to bring attention to, and I think they're doing a good way of that here. So that wasn't proper English, but you get what I'm saying. So honestly, while it is a sculpt that's been around for a while, I don't foresee it changing, but if they do, I wouldn't be opposed to it. 
I do like the model as is, and I'm sure they'll make an equally cool mold if they were choosing to do so to re-sculpt them. Um, so that being said, not much to change there. Um, as far as rules go, and point costs and whatnot, I think he's well point costed, although I think he need, he. Oh, I don't think, I know he has to be weapon skill 6. He's got to be put up in that same category as the rest of the captains and chapter masters. Because the current generic Space Marine Codex um, set that as a new standard for Space Marines having weapon skill 6 for captains and chapter masters. So, therefore, Azrael should be weapon skill 6. Um, on top of that, nothing else really needs to be added. I would say um, he could benefit from being having the rule Relentless. I think it would be a cool rule to add to Azrael. It kind of fits with the Dark Angels theme of being, you know, stubborn, relentless, refusing to give ground. And a bit more shooting in terms of how I play them and how the codex I feel is set up to be. Um, I think it would fit well with Azrael. Not necessary, just my own opinion. And I don't think his point cost will have to change too much. Maybe with Relentless, if they added him both being weapon skill 6 at the very least, and uh, Relentless, if they added both, I would say being 230 points is unreasonable. But his current point cost is fine, especially if they only add weapon skill 6. Um, that being said, uh, not his entry, but relating to him, there needs to be either a separate honor guard entry, because as you look at it now, um, the wolf guard of Space Wolves are essentially the chapter masters, a Logan's personal bodyguard type of bit with Arjak, or like squads, with Arjak being his personal champion, who is a great character for that squad. Then you have the honor guard of the uh, Codex Space Marines being there as the honor guard for the chapter masters, only taking four chapter masters. So that obviously makes sense there. Um, and you have the Sanguinary Guard essentially as the Honor Guard for the Chapter Master there in the Blood Angels. So it would make sense that something like that should go in for the Dark Angels. The reason why I mention that is because in accordance with the current errata, which I've checked last week, so if it has changed, I don't, I don't know about it yet, but Azrael is not allowed to have a company master in his command squad because he does not lead a company. Therefore, you cannot have a company champion. Did I say master? <laughs> well, what? I'm still a little tired. But um, in the command squad, if you have a company master, you can field a company champion in that command squad. But if you're fielding just Azrael, you cannot field a company champion because he does not count as a company master because he is the chapter master. So with that in mind, you don't get to have that character, that um, upgrade. I'm not, not that I'm not upset because it's like extremely overpowering thing because it's not. Um, it's just the ability isn't there, and I think, and there's nothing to replace it. So either they gotta make a complete honor guard type squad for Asriel to take if he's fielded, or they need to make some type of chapter champion upgrade for the command squad that can only be taken if Azrael is in the army. Just because I like those type of characters, I think they, they're, they are cool for fluff and whatnot and look cool on the battlefield. <clears throat> so that's the only thing I would say as well that needs to be changed. But how would I use Azrael? Well, there are a few ways you can use him, just like there's a few ways you can use any special character. Um, his strength 6 power weapon is very nice. It's mastercrafted. He can add his bolt pistol, so he counts as having plus one attack because of having two close counter weapons, which is very nice. So with that, you can use him aggressively and assault him. Uh, use him as an assaulting character attached to a decently, uh, a, not decently, a decent assaulting squad. Um, if you're going to use him in this role, I highly suggest a land raider or a crusader. If you want to attach him to a ten man squad or a terminator squad, you're going to need the crusader. If you're going to attach it to a five-man squad or something where he can fit in it, um, then you can use a regular Land Raider. He will add, if on the charge, he'll add, I believe, six attacks to uh, add strength six at initiative. That's a lot. That's that's a lot. That's good. So he's not he's not a beat stick like other special characters um, tend to be a little bit, like Mephiston or... Logan or Marnaeus or Abaddon, 
but he's not a slouch either. He, he does very well in my opinion. If you're going to use him in this role, don't overextend him. He has weaknesses just like every character does. Um, weaknesses in the shooting phase. Every character is weakest in the shooting phase because there are weapons out there that can bypass the armor and whatnot. And he's not immune to instant death. Therefore, strength 8 and higher will kill him outright if he fails a save. So you have to be a little bit more careful. Um, if you're going to use him in that role. Another role you can use him in is basically um, a supportive role. Supporting the, the battle line, keeping him back, either outside of a transport, in some cover, or in a transport. But keeping him back with, an, again, it could be the same exact squad that you're going to use him with to be assault heavy. But you keep him back and use him to counter charge or l lend his weight and his squad's weight to where your battle line's faltering. This is a very good tactic to use if you adopt a let them come strategy for uh, assaulting armies, like or horde type armies in particular. And what's nice about this is, um, especially if you keep them in a transport, or if you still use a land raider like that in a land raider to be a mobile firepower bunker, um, he can kind of be there to counter outflanking or other special characters that can come out of nowhere. Not special characters, but special units. Um, like commandos, for example, especially if they got boss well, snick rot, um, he they that they can come from your deployment zone, from your table edge, I should say. So keeping Azrael back a bit like this can be a good counter for stuff like that, as well as you know shooting at the rest of the enemy army and then counter assaulting it. That's that's how I like to use characters and how I like to use squads in general, especially if they're really good in the assault phase, is to kind of hold them back a bit and use them to counter assault. Um, because you don't really need to uh, use him to kill an enemy, kill off enemies to make him effective. If he's hanging out somewhere in a battle line with, like, let's say, a squad full of power, uh, a squad full, uh, a squad full of um, assaulting uh, weapons type of bits, like with assault marines, or if you have a company veteran squad kit out to be assault heavy, keep that somewhere in a lamb raider, let's say, or a crusader, or whatever. Or even a, ra a rhino or a razorback, you have that squad. Then um, in front of that, you have the, whatever army, whatever part of your army is in that particular part of the battlefield. You might see your opponent reposition things because so they don't want to deal with that. So, or or they'll reposition things to bring more heavy weapons to bear to deal with it. Either way, if you know how to properly read the battlefield and play your army, you'll be able to deal and counter that whatever they do, or to the best of your ability. But that's how, that's pretty much the two ways I would use Azrael. Either I would I would properly support him. I wouldn't just overextend myself and push him forward in the Land Raider or a Crusader. But uh, I would do that, send him out there, and assault into things. Now, being that he's not immune to instant death, I wouldn't throw him into against like a squad full of like a ten man squad of power fists or anything like that. But <clears throat> I would definitely throw him up against um, a lot of other things. He could even take it to some vehicles, not walkers, but things where you can strike rear armor, because unless it's a land raider, uh, its rear armor is not going to be that high, and chances are he can still pen it with his sword. So, um, it's, that's a very good way to use him. Or you can have him hang back a little bit. So, uh, some people don't like keeping the characters hang back a bit because they think they're kind of wasting their potential, but it all depends on your army lists and tactics and what you're going up against. But that's pretty much it for Asriel. A lot of people don't really view him that highly as a special character. I think he is a little bit underrated based on what I've heard both locally and on the internet. Yes, he's not immune to instant death, but neither is Dante, for example. So um, you don't need a chapter. The chapter masters don't have to be immune to instant death. Pedro Cantor isn't, but he's still used a lot. Uh, he, has, he has other things I know, but I'm just using that as an example. Uh, so, if you're a Dark Angels fan and you want to be, able, you want to feel the Chapter Master, I would say you wouldn't be doing a wrong move. You wouldn't be wasting points. I think he's very um, capable of making his points back and being effective. So, anyway, that's it for Azrael, and until next time, take it easy.